What is going first? And welcome back to Hungary for success with me, Foggy Plays on FM21. Today we're taking on Kish Varda in the league and we're going to take on AZ to see if we can get third place in the group, which you know, potentially if we could get into the Europa League and actually win it this time would be a bit of an upgrade compared to, you know, not winning it for the last two years and getting knocked out of the Champions League group. But, you know, I mean, there's still a chance we can make it through the group. Just just, just a tiny chance, but there's still a chance. So if you do want to enjoy this episode, do make sure to like and subscribe. Now let's get into the video. Right, brothers. So since you were here last in the defeat against Liverpool, we don't went and lost against Fervar. Um, just weren't very good. Sorensen came off the bench and the first thing he did was miss a penalty we then went and won our cup game quite comfortably 7-1 kind of expected I think they were like relegation zone relegation threatened uh, second division side we went and beat MTK as well quite comfortably um, Bordet got sent off for quite a stupid tackle which you know does happen uh, Medina did score an own goal but it didn't really make too much of a difference we were already 3-0 up or we 3-1 up when he uh, scored that own goal but you know we were originally 3-0 up so that was a little disappointing we then somehow beat Liverpool I don't know how Um, we just kind of played football and did pretty pretty good Um, unfortunately Kalsberg has been absolutely terrible recently so he came off and uh, I think we moved Grodham over something like that no, we didn't, because he's not on there. Yeah, okay, so we'll just be made changes. Oh, we moved Gilmar over and brought um, Lazar on. Yeah, we we scraped the victory. An 85th minute penalty, which was delightful. Um, and then against Uj Pest, we beat them 2-0. We did have an international break in between, and uh, <clears throat> did not go well. Needless to say, it did not go well. We, uh, we, got, we got absolutely destroyed. By Greece and Norway, so we finished third. We're not making it to the champ or the World Cup this year, but that's fine. Or well, I suppose next year. But for this game against Kishverda, where we are four points clear, relatively comfortable against Farvar, uh, Kishverda are sitting in fourth. Ushpest actually managed. Ushpest beat the Russian in their last game, so they've made it out of the relegation zone. ZTE is up in ninth. It's all looking pretty. Uh, it's pretty tight. In the uh, the lower reaches of the league. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, for this game, we are starting with Perez in goal. Thorson's going to start at right back with Bordet at left back. Medina and Neri in central defence. But Kwasi and Diaz in central midfield. Lazar and Gilmar as a wide man. Uh, Kramosta and Grodham starting up front. We do have some, not necessarily injury concerns, but we do have players that need resting, like Kalsberg. And Mayer need resting. As I said, at some point we were going to be able to register players again. So Jamal has been registered. Uh, played one game. Played really well. But then picked up a knock in the most recent game. Um, and Shiggy, almost back from his injury. It'd be quite nice to have a, a backup right back again. Who, to be fair, nobody in the, the team seems to like him. Uh, his personality seems to rub poorly off on everyone else. Um, so I'm going to say I expect a win today because, well, I do. Um, we're going to pump our fists at the striker, or strikers, and hope they score some goals. Like, Cromosta was pretty decent in uh, the last game. So I'm quite looking forward to him getting involved. We have made a change to our centre-backs. Uh, they're no longer just central defenders. They are now ball-playing defenders. Because I think they can... They can do it. They're training to do it. So it'd be kind of handy to get them a little bit more experience in said role. Uh, Kromosta is offside and our attack ends in nothing. Which is just a little bit frustrating. But Lazar comes forward. Kromosta. Ashvani Makes quite a good save. We're still only a minute into this game. And we've already had two attempts and a corner. And an offside. So we've, yeah, we've been we've been we've been quite busy in the first two minutes. Uh, their goalkeeper's distribution is not great. Lazarus picked up the ball twice and Kwasi's put that one wide. It's gonna be one of those days. That, oh my god, more highlights. Are we playing on 
we're playing on key highlights. Neary gets ball forward to Diaz, who takes a little bit of a jog down the wing. Gilmer gets it across to Kwasi. It hits somebody, and Imre Lazare has scored. Uh, Lazare, quite lucky to start today. If Kalsberg was fit, he definitely wouldn't be playing, because for the last two games that I've watched him play, I think it hit Lazare's head and then hit the Kishverda defender's head. It's all it's all good. It's all good. Um yeah, for the two games he played for the Hungarian national team, he was terrible. Medina smashes the ball into the back of the net from a corner for his sixth, and we are two nil up after eight minutes. Almost said eight nil up after two minutes, and that would be that would be exceptional. You would need to be playing with no players on the pitch. I would imagine that'd be the only way you could do that. Could you score eight goals in two minutes? I don't think so. Neary wins the header. Can Lazar get there? Lazar does. Gets the ball forward. Kromosta beautifully taken. And he's put it past the keeper. We Okay, so we've decided that we're going to smash Kishvarda. Who, you might remember, back really quite early in the, the series, were a team I did not like playing against. Because more often than not, they did the business against us. Since we've turned into the absolute dominant force of Hungary... They've not really done an awful lot to frustrate us, but this is quite nice. If we could score, I mean, if we could score 10 today, I'd be, I'd be happy. Uh, we've scored, was it, did we score 9 against ZTE? It would be quite nice if we could score double figures. It's been a while since we've done it. I think it was Depression two years ago. Um, oh, Kishvard have had a shot. That's disappointing. And I don't think we're going to get the, the 10 I was hoping for, unless we start scoring goals at an absolute demon pace in the second half. I'm going to outstretch my arms and say, I'm happy to keep it going. Uh, nobody is playing poorly. Well, exceptionally poorly, should I say. Uh, and nobody is overly tired. So we're going to just continue as we are. Um, Lamine Lago is sitting on the bench. He's been brought up because I think there's a high chance that he is going to be a first team regular. Oh Kuasi. Literally nobody. Nobody. Even attempted. To stop him from doing what he was doing. And Kuasi. Scores an absolute. Peach of a goal. Um. So yeah. This is. This is going quite well. I have to say. 4-0 up. After 58 minutes. Can't really complain. Diaz gets it to Grodham. Gilmer. Ashvani. Started the first half quite well. That was a pretty decent save. Uh, this time they've managed to not let Medina get on the end of that. It looked like Gilmar was offside. But he... Okay, he wasn't. Cromosa heads over regardless. Uh, Perez is just kind of standing there. It's like, um... Am I supposed to be doing something? Kuasi. Thorson. Ball forward. Cromosa. Oh, <laughs> over the shoulder. Absolutely... Bullet of a shot into the back of the net. Could have torn the net off. That was such a powerful strike. And it was Thorsten got the ball over. Beautiful. Over the shoulder. On the volley. Smashes it into the top corner. Keeper stood. No chance. Still playing at 7.4. 7.5 now. We've had a 2.5 XG. I was going to say KD. It's not how it works. Gilmer's picked up the, the ball after Bordet heads it down to him. Gilmer finds Lazar. Who. The Lazar. We see. In Durag colours. A little bit different to the Lazar that we see when we're playing as Hungary. Not as good. But he's still definitely. Definitely our best right winger. In the Hungarian national side. Um, and speaking of. Zabazlai has decided at the Oh, what a goal by Diaz. First goal of the season. Uh, Sabozle has decided to call time on his international career at 29. Asked him to reconsider. He said no. Which kind of makes sense. He literally just said, I'm retiring. And then I was like, but are you? And he was like, yes, yes, I am. I am most definitely retiring. Uh, we're actually going to leave Lazar. going to bring on... No, we're going to bring on Sorensen. Move Cromosa to be the 
complete forward, but play him as a pressing forward because he did that in the last game and he was actually pretty decent at it. Lazar is going to come off for Fuscus. And I think we leave our final substitution for now. Give a little bit of time for those changes to take effect and see how they get on. Stanley, the Brazilian Hungarian winger for Kishverda, who was playing for MTK for a while. Beautifully plucked out of the air by Perez. Somebody missed a clearance. I'm not sure who it was. Medina, potentially. Gromosa heads it down to Fuscus. We are playing with three strikers on the pitch now, which is generally a thing we've been doing all the time. So, not something new. We're going to make our final substitution. We're going to take off Diaz. And we're going to bring on Lago. Because, uh, as I said, Lago is the future. And he's been playing quite well when he has been given the opportunity. Our Ivory Coast Swiss central midfielder. Who everyone seems... Or my assistant manager seems to think we should play as a centre-back. But I'm not 100% sure they know. Because I don't think he's he's like he's fairly short if I remember. Oh, Kremos has hit the bottom of the post. I mean Lago. Only six foot. Like, I can understand he'd be... In, Decent centre back. I think he's better as a midfielder though. So that's why he's playing as a midfielder. Um we have romped to a victory. 6-0, 34 shots, 3.19 XG. Didn't do an awful lot in that second half, but still. I suppose we scored three goals. So that is a comfortable victory for us. Grodham. The only one to not play all that well. DTE 7-1 against Hanvid. Hanvid, interestingly, trying to sign one of our goalkeepers who I'm going to say he's like 8th choice and they want him as their first goalkeeper like their main goalkeeper so interesting um, I never showed you the Champions League group PSG are qualified as they have not lost a single game yet but we take on AZ in the next game if we win we could actually jump to second but then we play PSG in the final game and I can't imagine we're going to do an awful lot against PSG so I'm banking on third, assuming we beat AZ. So we'll be back for that in just a second. Hopefully, we can smash AZ and not get a draw again, because that was, that was disappointing. So, back in a second. Right, fellas, we're about to take off against AZ. And as you can see, Liverpool have beaten PSG in their game. That's a little bit annoying, because I was kind of banking on PSG knocking the stuffing out of Liverpool. And the fact they haven't is now... Scuppered my plan ever so slightly because I don't think we're going to be able to beat PSG. Hmm. Not ideal. So we really do need to beat AZ in in this game. And they want us to play cautious. No. No, thank you. Um, so a few changes for this game. Can I remember what those changes are? Probably not. Uh, Barreto and Mayer come in for today or for this game. Uh, Kalsberg plays on the left. Gilmer's going to start on the right. And Fuskis comes in. Um, I moved Kromosta over to be the complete forward. About, that's about it, really. Let's see. Are those the changes? Brado, Mayer, Fuskis, and Kasberg. Yeah, I remembered all of them. Get in. Fantastic. Bunch of our players are happy that they're back into the team for the first time in a while. Uh, Kranich is sitting on the bench and he's happy about that. Um, I did tell Barreto I'd start playing him at some point. And, uh, no time like the present, I guess. So I decided to pop him in. Neary's been in me form recently. Uh, the fact that I'm not sure why I decided to start growing him on the bench. That could be an issue. I don't think it will. I hope it's not. I hope it won't be. He can come off the bench. It's fine. It's fine. He can come off the bench if either of the two playing up front decide not to be good players. Mayor picks up the ball. Back to Perez. And both of my players decided to just kind of jog towards the ball instead of run. And thankfully, Boadu puts it wide. This is uh, not how I was expecting the game to start. But Thorson's picked up the ball, or has a throw. Fuskis passed it back to him. And now we're back with the defenders. Kwasi finds Diaz, finds Thorson, Fuscus, so far offside. That's 
<clears throat> that's 11 million worth of a uh, striker who's just done that and the players are still celebrating stop celebrating that was very obviously offside <laughs> what are you doing I don't even need to look he was oh, he was like 15 yards offside it's like he doesn't know the rules of the game Barreto why are you nervous you asked for me to play you I'm playing you and now you're nervous Mayor gets past his man Diaz gets quite easily dispossessed Barreto doesn't even jump for it Bovedu is true and he's missed again we're getting away with it a little bit today lads we are getting away with it just a little bit uh, Rav van den Berg was actually the player we were told to worry about he's having a pretty decent game as they now have the opportunity to break and we are very lucky ooh Evian almost put us to the sword ran the majority of the pitch uh, but Medina hits the ball away and Kwasi with a beautifully timed tackle stops them from scoring Thorson doesn't get himself sent off which is fantastic uh, quite a strong header back by Fuskas Kwasi Thorson boots it clear Fuskas heads it forward to himself which is where well to where he was supposed to be standing the Aze keeper boots it out Gilmer finds Kalsberg Kalsberg dinks the keeper his 17th goal of the season he has finally scored it's been longer than I would care to remember he was on a 6.5 before that goal went in Gilmar dinks it over Kalsberg beautifully chests it down and then just the cheekiest of dinks gets it past the keeper they want Medina to man mark Boadu kind of feel like that's a good idea they're playing him as a deep lying forward hmm um, I was originally going to say that I was happy with how things are going. Not really. Um, tell strikers I'm disappointed with their finishing. Because uh, Fuskas. He's top of the being brought off players. Perez is almost at the halfway line. I don't know if anyone else saw that. But I was I, I saw it. Mayor thankfully gets the ball clear. But now Azed back on the attack stings. Finds Cuisance. Stengs who start, partially started it. Kind of. Thankfully hits the side netting. And we're two points behind Liverpool. If things stay as they are. Which they probably won't. But a man can dream. Barreto's playing a 6.9 now. Not bad. Thorson. Boots are clear. Fuscus. Beautifully headed down for Cromosta. Cromosta. Gets it across. Fuskus. Fuskus hits the crossbar. Barreto finds Medina. Finds Kuasi. Gilmar. Did not see their goalkeeper saving that. So yeah, well done to him. <laughs> Kalsberg has scored. Down to a 6.7. As you can imagine. Things don't look like they're going all that well. Uh, we are going to have to make a couple of changes. Because players are either tired or are playing poorly. Uh, Fuskas can come off for Sorensen. Medina's actually having a poor game. Diaz can come off for O'Neill and we'll leave the substitutions there on the off chance we pick up a knock, which I hope we don't. Gilmer with the corner. Medina does not often miss headers. I feel like it's just because he's playing poorly today that that's not helped. Cuisance with the corner. Perez plucks it out of the air. Almost took the head off Medina. But Cromosta gets it down for Gilmar. Finds Sorensen. And Sorensen was offside. I don't even need to see it. He was obviously offside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to watch that again. Because you could tell that he was very, very offside. Um, we do... We don't necessarily need to make this change. But I'm going to. Um, Kasberg, goal scorer. Been having an absolute mare of a game. Grodham's going to come on for him. Um, Cromosta not had the best of games. As the complete forward. So we're going to just push him to be the pressing forward. Just for a little while. For the, well, for the remainder of the game. 
Uh, Perez, not a great goal kick. Mayor, that's outside the penalty. That's outside the penalty. It's never a penalty. That is not a penalty. Oh, this is Raheem starting all over again. It's not a penalty. If the referee gives a penalty, then VAR does not work. No penalty. Yeah, I told you it wasn't a penalty. Happened outside the box. Mayor is Mayor going to get booked? He's going to walk over to where Mayor was standing. Mayor is now standing in this huddle of players. Yeah, he ran all the way over. Realised Mayor had moved and then chased him. Cuisance with the free kick. Perez held quite comfortably, I would say. And with one less than a minute remaining, we've managed to beat Al Zed, which definitely was necessary. As you can see, our strike force had an absolute horrid day today. Fuskas and Sorensen both missing opportunities to make the result a little bit more comfortable by, you know, scoring goals by staying on side. But instead they were Chiri Immobile and then it beat Man City 5-4. They scored two goals in the 90th minute. I would be furious if that was me. Oh, that is such an FM thing to happen. Um, The fact that they scored, Man City scored an own goal and then there was another goal scored in the 95th minute. There was probably only like three minutes added on in the first place. Thorson's going to miss the PSG game. Fantastic. That's what you want to see. Without our best right back for the cider for the group. Delightful. So <clears throat> probably have to come back for for that, I would imagine. Because, you know, somewhat important PSG. Um, and I'm always looking back for like Halidas. I think Halidas would be a more interesting game for us to come back for. So we are going, or do we just do PSG? I don't know, we'll see. Um, technically, we can still qualify second in the group. I don't think we're going to. Um, and we're still quite comfortably atop the league. So if you have enjoyed this episode, do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with all of your friends. And I will see you in the next one.